But first of all, we've had an email from Peter in Methley. Thank you very much for this, Peter. You'd be sitting at home going, oh, they're actually going to use it. Um, he said, uh, ladies, I thought you might find the following article about the good old days informative and help in your relationships, which we thought was really nice until we read the article. Um, it, uh, co it, date, it comes from a 1960s book about sex education, which is quite outdated, uh, it has to be said, in terms of a wife's duty in marriage. However, of her duties, the book suggests uh, that a wife should make sure she's well prepared for bed. Now, it says uh, when retiring to the bedroom, uh, prepare yourself for bed as promptly as possible. <laughs> now, we've actually edited that, but I'm going to read you the full bit. As promptly uh, as promptly as possible. Um, your husband, your tired husband, does not want to queue for the bathroom, as he would have to do for his train. Uh, remember to look your best when going to bed. Try to achieve a look that is welcome without being obvious. Uh, if you need to apply face cream or hair rollers, wait until he's asleep, as this can be shocking to a man late at night. So, how much effort do we we put into oh, getting yes. ready at bedtime? Oh, you've no idea the effort I put in. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, because I have to time it right yeah. so I can get up the stairs into bed within a minute and a half before he comes up so that I can be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest with you, I, I literally, I go up to the bedroom, I go round to my side of the bed, take my clothes off, get into bed. Oh, That's about it. washing your face and brushing your teeth and brushing your hair and putting your hair I, uh, <laughs> No, what I do is I go in, I have a quick look in the bathroom to check that my makeup could possibly stay on and get me through another day. <laughs> I've got the school one. Mm, I've got the school one. I can't do the school one without full makeup on. I'm not putting it on myself that time of the morning, so it's got to last 24 hours. Do you sleep on your back like that? Oh. Well, I sleep on my back till he walks in the room and then I go, oh, and turn around and pretend to snore. And also, to be honest with you, I don't want to go up and do all that because then he might come up and find me a bit attractive. <laughs> well, not if you take all your makeup off. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> That's true. That's where I'm going wrong. Ah. I'm going to take it off and put rollers in. Yeah, tonight. you yeah. see, that's what I do. And I don't have any it. problems. No. Yeah, it's great because I, I do. I sleep in a really long nighty. It's got sort of lacy bits here. It's a little. I love it. It's really oh, comfy. I bet you it's got a little lacy bow. Hasn't yeah, it? I used to have one like that, but I don't anymore. Oh. Um, no, I used to wear my granny's. Used to love it. But no, when I when what I, did I your granny wear? <laughs> She had more than one. Oh. Um, no, when I go to bed, I, I can't sleep with my makeup on. I like to, I do the whole thing, I wash my face, I cleanse, and then I put my nighttime moisturiser on, and then you do a bit of flossing, and then you put lip cream on, and then I brush my hair, and then I get to the bed, and I put my hand cream on, and then sometimes I put my foot cream on. Oh, um, could you be bothered? Yeah. I mean, could you? Could you? Wow. Well, Steve's, Steve's had to put a oh. telly in the bedroom. <laughs> Because I take, Steve's had to put a TV in the bedroom because I take so long. <laughs> he just he gets fed so up bored. Wait, yeah. you know what it is? I think uh, I've got two ways of, get, of, of getting ready for bed. One is when, um, when it's winter and I've got me flannelette pyjamas on. <laughs> oh, I'm sexy, me. And, um, and then if, you know, if I happen to be on a date or I have a man caller or, um, as you said the other day, any old punter coming round. <laughs> which was nice. Um, I might just have a little bit of a sexy negligee going on, but I don't do the cleanse, tone and moisturiser thing. Although, the, I've got to say, the last time I went to bed with somebody, I, th I, I took all my makeup off and I thought, ooh, maybe not. So I left a little bit of eyeliner on and thought, mate, when he looks at me in the morning, I won't look so minging. But I remember there were times, you know, when women used to put pin curls in and nets oh, on there yeah. and everything. Oh, yes, and little rollers and everything. But the thing is with me, see... Uh, what I like to do is I go upstairs and I derma braze and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and then I pump. You have to put a bit of pump. You wind. No. Uh, <laughs> pumping cream on your face so you go like that and brush my teeth and then I get into bed and then I have my glasses there and I have the crossword and then I have my diary that I have to write every night and I have all sorts of things around me that I have to do before I can go to sleep. So I have to be very busy at my bedtime. <laughs> you do. Because there's nobody there to talk to, is there? <laughs> so I have a what lot... If, what if you had, I mean, obviously, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> what if you had a male partner? Well, if it was Johnny Depp, then I would just rip everything off and jump in. <laughs> Yes, oh no, I wouldn't waste time with brushing teeth, would you? Oh, yes. I'd be straight in there. Well, you could just put yours straight in the glass and brush your teeth. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. <laughs> okay, do you want to win?